The Super Hornet really is a fifth generation airplane. Even with eight AIM-120 missiles and two AIM-9s, this aircraft has unlimited angle of attack ability in both the positive and negative direction and absolutely no stick or G limits whatsoever for the pilot. Super Hornet has large wing area, large flaps, aft CG and a lifting stab allow it to take off in very short distance. Even with as much as 9,000 pounds of fuel internal and 10 air-to-air -air missiles, eight AIM-120 AMRAM missiles, two AIM-9s, the aircraft is able to take off in approximately 1,000 feet. The gear is left down for the dirty roll, demonstrating the excellent flying qualities the Super Hornet has with its gear down. Good speed. This is a repositioning maneuver uh, known as a half Cuban. The aircraft is pulled over the vertical to a nose down position, a 50 degree dive, and then rolled out. The tactical significance now is that it looks like an air to ground uh, attack delivery profile being flown. From a dive of 50 degrees and 1,700 feet, I pull full aft stick, demonstrating the high instantaneous pitch rates to a very nose high attitude of approximately 60 degrees and 50 degrees angle of attack. This shows the extreme nose pointing ability of the Super Hornet, even loaded with all these weapons. The next maneuver is simply a repositioning maneuver. The nose is brought up in a series of pulls and roll under tucks, showing the ability to precisely nail a climb angle, a roll angle, and then repositioning the aircraft back to the show line for the next maneuver. The inverted pirouette. The high G turn away from the crowd, then pulling the nose to 50 to 60 degrees nose high, rolling inverted, and from 2,000 feet, pulling the aircraft to 30 degrees angle of attack and applying full lateral stick and full pedal simultaneously. This invokes a special flight control feature called pirouette control laws, which allow the airplane to roll, yaw, and pitch simultaneously, changing the direction 90 degrees very quickly. This aircraft incorporates a turbo nose down mode, which is invoked with full forward stick, showing extremely high nose down pitch rates, a very important parameter for, for fighter pilots. The ability of these airplanes with AFCG full of weapons to reduce angle of attack is a very difficult task for modern day fighters. Out of burner. Seven and a half G, maximum G, maximum rate turn to a lateral stick input which demonstrates a fully loaded high G rolling maneuver to nose high. Once nose high, full forward stick to demonstrate the turbo nose down to a minus 3G level off. The Immelman pitchback. Very important tactical maneuver for changing directions rapidly 180 degrees. This time the aircraft is banked slightly. Lateral stick and pedal is inputted for another pirouette. This time showing the ability to change directions 180 degrees from direction left to direction right quite rapidly at high angle of attack. The rudder roll, a repositioning maneuver, angle of attack is increased to 30, a full boot of rudder is input, and the airplane appears to twist in the sky and change directions, uh, nose low before setting up for the high angle of attack pass. Auto partner. Tactical parameter for any fighter is its ability to fly at high angle of attack and at low speed. That's used in a uh, dogfighting situation to flush out the adversary. The Super Hornet is king at this, and even in this configuration, a very conservative, very comfortable 30 degree angle of attack high alpha pass is flown as low as 105 knots to demonstrate the low speed high angle of attack flying ability of the airplane. I could fly it much slower and even at high angle of attack. Burners. While at still low speed, 150 knots, the airplane demonstrates a 360 degree roll. Check. Check. Roll under. Check. Ball back. The square loop 
uh, demonstrates a number of unique traits of the Super Hornet. The very high instantaneous pitch rate to change direction from a level ingress type flight to vertical flight. From 3,500 feet, the aircraft is pulled onto its back. And then the aircraft is pulled nose low. This demonstrates the inherent safety of this airplane to be able to dive straight down with all these weapons to very low altitude and still be able to square off the turn like no other aircraft can. The 360 degree loaded roll. The aircraft is banked. Angle of attack is increased to 30 degrees, and now full lateral stick and full pedal are applied, this time for a full 360 degree roll, where the aircraft rolls, yaws, and pitches. At the end of the maneuver, full lap stick is applied for a 60 degree nose high, 50 degree angle of attack uh, demonstration, followed by the turbo nose down. This maneuver is a maneuver I would not attempt in any aircraft, particularly one loaded with missiles, except for the Super Hornet. Any fifth generation fighter can fly an impressive air show. What we're trying to do with the Super Hornet is to show that we're able to maneuver fully loaded in a wartime configuration. This is something that only the Super Hornet can do, and it does extremely well with more missiles on board than many aircraft can even carry. The aircraft is able to maintain a very steep dive angle of 10 to 15 degrees without accelerating, uh, and then intercepting a three and a half degree glide path to a touchdown point that is very precise. The flying qualities of the airplane with the gear and flaps down are excellent. Obviously, the aircraft is made to land on a ship, 